Toronto is mad for hockey, loving basketball, and stoked for soccer, but there is another sport which is wildly popular in other parts of the world that is catching on in the GTA. Our Scott Lightfoot joins us live with more on. Tell us about this sport, Scott. Well, you've heard about it, Michelle, but odds are you probably don't know how to play it. We're talking about cricket. It's gaining in popularity amongst young students in Toronto. In fact, we talked to a teacher today who introduced cricket at his school just a couple of years ago. He said on the first day of school this year, he had students lined out the door wondering when they would get to play. They were bowling on Bathurst this morning. Some of Toronto's top young cricketers were awarded for their skills in a sport that's growing in popularity in this city. People don't give it a chance that much. It's, it's usually not that hard. You just hit the ball and you run. For some of these students, it's a game they've grown up with. It's easy and fun. Others have only recently been introduced to the sport. It was hard. <laughs> yeah, because like we didn't have any gloves to catch the balls with, and it's like to bowl is a hard motion. Today also marked the kickoff for the eighth annual Mayor's Cricket Tournament. Fifty-one percent of the people who live here were born outside of the country, and many of the next generation that you're a part of may have been born here, but their parents came from somewhere else. And it is so important uh, to the city that we learn each other's games, we celebrate each other's holidays, we learn about each other's backgrounds, because that's why we have such a special way of life that's admired around the world here because we embrace everybody. Win or lose, these city champions say cricket has taught them skills that go far beyond just batting and bowling. Everyone has to cooperate as a team and you work together to make your runs to win. Everybody has a part in the sport and everybody gets to play together. As soon as kids that are exposed to it, um, they all catch the bug and uh, it can be uh, highly addictive. It's, uh, it's a fun sport. And if you want to see some of the games in the Mayor's Annual Tournament, that tournament kicks off May 15th, runs through till May 31st, and the games are played at Maybrook Park and G. Ross Lord Park. Reporting live inside the Central Tech Dome, I'm Scott Lightfoot. Ken, back to you. Thank you, Scott. Rod Smith joins us now from the TSN Sports Center. There's a lot of people, I guess, interested in cricket. I know what you and I are interested in. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I'm not in the newsroom. I'm closer to you, Ken. I got John Torrey showed off his cricket skills today, joining students for a demonstration game ahead of the 8th annual Mayor's School Cricket Tournament that will be held in May. It began as a pilot project to give schools greater access to the game, but became so popular the city has brought it back each year. It is so important uh, to the city that we learn each other's games, we celebrate each other's holidays, we learn about each other's backgrounds because that's why we have such a special way of life that's admired around the world here because we embrace everybody, we celebrate our differences, we learn about each other, we learn about some of the great things people brought with them uh, to this country. Our school is filled with a lot of diverse people and they come from countries outside of Canada and those countries play cricket as their prim primary sports, right? It's good to see that there's a lot of interaction between students and the sport. And it's nice to see that leadership, uh, sportsmanship, all those um, qualities contribute to the student and the sport. The tournament will be held at Sunnybrook Park and G. Ross Lord Park in North York from May 15th to the 31st. And that's it for our Toronto. Thank you for watching. We want to leave you with the scene at Central Tech this week, where some of the city's best young bowlers and batters were in the spotlight. Go easy with the mayor. Right along with John Tory to officially launch the mayor's school cricket tournament. Have a great week, everyone. George, what are you doing? We're playing cricket, Mika. Thanks very much. Cricket is second only to soccer.
as far as world popularity in sport goes. I'm joined now by Tim Stone. He's the coach of the Cosburn Wolves. Fighting Wolves! <laughs> Way to go, kids. Go yeah, they're, they're practicing down there because uh, later this summer, there's going to be a big tournament for the Canadian Tire Trophy, this beautiful piece of hardware that Tim's holding up here. And later this morning, around 10.30, the mayor is going to be at Central Tech to launch the 8th edition of the school cricket program. So, Tim, tell us about this sport. I mean, it's huge and growing in the GTA, and um, it's, uh, it's a mystery, though, to many, right? It still is, but what, what, what we've been able to do in the schools is demystify cricket to make it as much fun as possible for uh, the younger generation. And it's been amazing just to see it grow in the last uh, 10 to 15 years. The, the SEMA Mayor's Cricket Tournament has been a huge part of that. So we're really looking forward to next, uh, next month for the, the for Canadian sure. Tire SEMA Trophy. And kids seem to take to the sport pretty quickly, don't they? Readily. Oh yeah, like it's uh, it's a like any other sport. Kids love to play it. The first day of school this year, the students that played last year, uh, they started asking me, "When are we starting cricket?" Really? See, that's cool. So they've been chomping at the bit, and uh, all we need now is some cricket weather. Yeah, well, <laughs> Bill will try and help us there. Uh, this I was fascinated to learn was our national sport during Confederation. Not hockey, not even lacrosse, which actually is our national sport. Um, that's. Pretty interesting. Yeah, there's an interesting relationship our country has with the sport too. That's right. Yeah, yeah. it's a little known fact that it was Canada's official sport when we began. So the fact that it's with uh, new Canadians it becomes such a popular yeah. sport. A sport that can go a game that can go five days. If it's yes. A What's the difference between a test match and just a, a game? Well, the length of a cricket match is determined by the number of scheduled overs. So the two captains... And the over's like an inning for an in, baseball yeah, fans. A six, a six ball mini inning, that's right. What I found interesting, we were just talking off camera before we set up here today, is that uh, instant replay was actually something that was born in this sport. We can thank... We can thank cricket for instant replay. Yes, that's right. That cricket was one of the, that was the first sport to have instant replay. The other thing is the, the term hat trick, oh. which is, uh, you know, in cricket, it's getting three outs in a row. Right. That was actually, uh, it began in cricket first. And then it was adopted, that term was adopted by the other sports. You know, if you travel the world, you'll learn how big this sport is. I, I was first tuned into cricket in 1996 during the World Cup when I was in South Africa. It's all that they were watching uh, when Sri Lanka won its one and only. Uh, wow, talk of, I mean, it is everything. It is, everything revolves around cricket in India, Pakistan, of course, as well. It's definitely a passion. And you yeah. can see with the, these kids at Cosburn, uh, even when it's uh, minus five outside, I see them out there playing on the schoolyard with whatever they can find to use for a wicket. And that's great. That's because it doesn't require a lot of stuff, cricket. You know, you got a, you got a bat, you got a ball. And some passion, you can get it. And you need to look cool, though. I mean, beyond the skill and speed and strategy, it's style. I love the fact, I love the oh, all-whites, yes. man. It's a cool look. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not all about pure power. Like, a lot of sports are just all about brute force. There's, there's a lot of skill and strategy involved. Here, a, lot, too, right? a lot of technical skill. And the other thing about cricket, uh, tremendous amount of strategy, depending on the, the time of the match, how many runs you need. Uh, the other thing about the fielders, the fielding positions are much more fluid than baseball. Sure. So the bowler or the captain will move the fielders around quite a lot uh, as a, a strategic move to get the batters out. Now, the Canadian Tire Trophy that's up for grabs uh, happens through May and June. The final is Brampton, June 2nd. Um, how many schools, people are involved here? Well, we have uh, the Toronto area will be this year we have the high school tournament for boys high school tournament for girls we have middle school cool. boys middle school girls and then the, the whole gta brampton mississauga durham they're all okay. having tournaments great thanks tim thanks uh cosburn wolves and uh, the mayor will be doing this all at 10 30 this morning we'll be right